Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with limit state design of slabs. So in the topic of yield line theory, so the problem is design a simply supported square slab of 4.5 meter side length and support a service live load of 4 kN per meter square. Then add up M20 and FE415 HYSD boss that is uh, FCK is 20 and then FY is 4 and 5. Then assume the load factor according to IS456-2000 load consideration. So we have to design the simply supported square slab. So first thing is given data. So side length, side length L equal to 4.5 meter that is given. So then live load, live load is uh, 4 kN per meter square. So then Fy value is 415 Newton per mm square. Then Fck is uh, 20 Newton per mm square. Okay. So these are all the values given. So we have to design the uh, square slab. So first step, step one. So we have to find out the depth of slab. So we are using uh, Fy is uh, 415 Hy boss. So according to class 24.1 in uh, IS456-2000. So span by overall depth is uh, 28. So span by overall depth equal to 28. So now the span length is uh, given that is uh, 4500, 4.5 meter. So 4500 divided by or of depth is D equal to 28. So solving this D equal to so we have the so we have the overall depth of 160 mm. So now we can assume 25 mm as cover. So effective depth equal to D minus 25. Okay, so D is 160 minus 25. So we got the value of 135 mm. So this is the effective depth of slab. Okay, so next thing is load calculation. Step 2 load calculation. So now live load. So live load is given that is 4 kN per meter square. So then dead load. So dead load is the size of slab. So now we can get the depth into uh, unit weight of concrete. So depth is uh, 160 into unit weight of concrete is 25 kN per meter cube. Okay, so we have to convert into meter. So it will be 0 0.16. Okay, so now uh, solving this, we got the value of 4 kN per meter square. Okay, so then floor finish. So floor finish, we can take 1 kN per meter. Okay, so now uh, meter square. So now uh, we can take the total service load. So total service load is uh, 4 plus 4 plus 1 equal to 9 kN per meter square. Okay. So now uh, we can get the ultimate load, ultimate load equal to, so load into factor of safety that is 1.5. Okay, so now we got the value of 13.5 uh, kN per meter square. Okay, so this is the final load. So next time is step 3, ultimate moments and CFOs. Okay, so now we can take uh, M U equal to W L square divided by 24 using yield line theory WL squared by 24. So now we can substitute all the values over here. So 13.5 into uh, L is 4.5 square divided by 24. Okay. So now we got the value of 11.39 kilonewton meter. Okay. So this is the ultimate moment. So next thing is CFO. So V U equal to 0 0.5 into WL my sorry WU minus L. So WU is the ultimate load. Okay, so now we can get uh, 0 0.5 into WU is again 13.5 into L distance is 4.5. Okay, so now we got the value of 30.375 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so this is a shear force. Okay, so it's the ultimate shear. So next thing is uh, we have to check the limiting moment step 4. So limiting moment capacity of soil sorry moment capacity of slab. So now MU limit equal to 0.138 FCK B D square. Okay. So now we can substitute all the values over here 0.138 and FCK is 20 into B value is uh, 1000 into so D value is 135 
square. Okay, solving this, we got the value of 50.3 into 10 power 6 Newton mm. Okay, so now convert into 50.3 kilo Newton meter. So this is MU limit. So now we can take MU, MU limit. So now MU value is 11.39, MU limit value is 50.3. Okay, so now the MU limit is uh, greater than of MU. So now in the section is under reinforced. Okay, so now next thing is we have to calculate the reinforcement details. So step 5. So for the reinforcement detail, we can use the MU equal to 0 0.87 FYAST into D into 1 minus AST into FY divided by FCK B D. Okay, so now we can uh, calculate, now we can substitute all the values over here. So MU value is uh, 11.39 into 10 power 6 equal to 0 0.87 into FY value is 415 into AST we have to calculate and D is 135. Okay, so now 1 minus AST we have to calculate FY is 415 divided by FCK is again 20 into B value is 1000 into D value is 135. Okay, so now we can uh, solving this we got the value of AST. So AST is 241 mm square. So we can provide 10 mm diabars at 300 mm center to center okay so now corrected AST is 262 mm square okay so next step is uh, check for shear so now tau v equal to vu divided by v into d okay now we can substitute the values so vu equal to 30.375 into 10 power 3 divided by b value is again 1000 into d value is 135 Okay, so now solving this, we got the value of 0 0.225 Newton per mm square. Okay, so now we can take the percentage of reinforcement PT is 100 AST divided by BW into D. Okay, so now we can substitute the value. So 100 AST, 100 into AST is 262 divided by, so BW is 1000 into D is 135. Okay, so solving this, we got the value of PT equal to 0 0.194. Okay, so now refer table 19 in IS456-2000 for the permissible stress. Okay, so now we can take KS into tau Z equal to 1.28 into 0 0.31 equal to, we got the value of 0 0.39 Newton power mm square. So now we can take Ks and tau z is uh, greater than of tau v. So the so now Ks into tau z is uh, greater than of tau v. So the shear stress or within the safe permissible limit. Okay. So this is a method we can design the slab. Again we will see next video. Thank you.